most people have one animal phobia or another, be it a fear of sharks thanks to the sensationalist blockbusters, or a horror of anything that creeps and crawls. But when it comes to which species are worth being afraid of, the answer might surprise you. Today, I'm going to show you 10 most dangerous animals in the world. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 10. India Saw Scaled Viper. Second deadly contender I hope we might find. Well, it probably would have the title of one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, despite the fact... While plenty of snake species pack enough venom to bring down a human, not all of them take the multifaceted approach of the Indian Saw Scaled Viper. Sometimes called the Little Indian Viper or the Saw Scaled Viper, these reptiles live in some of the most populated areas of the region they occupy, which stretches well beyond India. They remain inconspicuous, though, by using their natural camouflage to blend into desert surroundings. Because they are typically active at night, it's best to listen for their defensive sizzling sound. This comes from a behavior called stradulation, in which the snake forms coils and rubs its scales together. Number 9. Pufferfish They tell me it's been biting people here. Behind its harmless appearance, this pint-sized animal... Pufferfish, also known as blowfish, are located in tropical seas around the globe. Though they're the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet, after the golden arrow dart frog, they're arguably more dangerous, as their neurotoxin, called tritototoxin, is found in the fish's skin, muscle tissue, liver, kidneys, and gonads, all of which must be avoided when preparing the creature for human consumption. Number 8. Inland Taipan First, the good news. Inland Taipan snakes, called Dandarabilla by Aboriginal Australians, are reclusive, docile snakes, unlikely to get aggressive with humans without cause. The bad news is that when people sneak up on Inland Taipans or try to handle them, they are well equipped to defend themselves. The venom of Inland Taipans is considered the most toxic of any snake on the planet, and they strike quickly and accurately when the need arises. Number 7. Brazilian Wandering Spider If the size of this spider isn't enough to inspire a sudden heart attack, as they can be 5 to 7 inches long, then its highly venomous bite will finish the job. Many spiders have fangs packed full of toxins, but aren't known to bite people. Unfortunately, the Brazilian Wandering Spider is not one of those. Even worse, this spider often lives up to its name and wanders into densely populated areas to seek shelter in dark, cozy places like the inside of shoes, clothes, log piles, cars, and other places people may stick their hands. Human death can occur within two to six hours of a bite, typically as a result of lung failure, though fever, vomiting, and paralysis also occur. Bites from Brazilian wandering spiders are uncommon, but don't let your guard down in their territory, just in case. Number 6. Stonefish the most venomous fish known to humans is an easy one to miss, which is by design. Stonefish, after all, are named for their visual similarity to rocks, sitting perfectly still and blending right into the seabed. Oh, there it is. Where an unsuspecting foot can easily step down on their dorsal fins, primed and ready to attack with potent neurotoxins. The unluckiest clod hoppers will step hard, applying more pressure and increasing the amount of venom that gets injected. They may also trigger the stonefish's secondary defense mechanism, known as a lacrimal saber, which has been likened to a switchblade of the face. Yikes. Number 5. Saltwater Crocodile Surface. Florida's alligators might be scary, but they have nothing on their cousin. The fearsome crocodile, which is more short-tempered, easily provoked, and aggressive towards anything that crosses its path. Of all the species in the world, the largest and most dangerous is the saltwater crocodile. These ferocious killers can grow up to 23 feet in length, weigh more than a ton, 
and are known to kill hundreds of people each year, with crocodiles as a whole responsible for more human fatalities annually than sharks. Then again, so are cars. Number four, tsetse fly. Often regarded as the world's most dangerous fly, the tsetse fly, a small speck of an insect that measures between eight to 17 millimeters, or about the same size as an average housefly, is commonly found in sub-Saharan Africa, especially throughout countries in the center of the continent. While the flies themselves are nasty blood-sucking bugs that usually feed during the peak warm hours of the day, their true terror lies in the protozoan parasites they spread known as trypanosomes. These microscopic pathogens are the causative agent of African sleeping sickness, a disease marked by neurological and meningoencephalitic symptoms, including behavioral changes, poor coordination, as well as the disturbances in sleeping cycles that give the illness its name. Number three, blue ring octopus. At the size of a golf ball and decorated with stunning iridescent rings of blue, the aptly named blue ring octopus punches well above its weight class. This docile animal will attack when threatened, packing a neurotoxin 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide with no known antidote. Not that there would even be enough time to administer it before death occurred. The bite of the blue ringed octopus is so painless, one might not even feel it happening, which makes it even more remarkable how often people share photos and videos with one in their hand. Even if they decide to spare the human touching them, the experience of being handled depletes the energy of the blue ringed octopus. Number two, mosquito. Clocking in at just three millimeters at their smallest, the common mosquito, even tinier than the tsetse fly, ranks as the second most dangerous animal in the world. Our reasoning? The sheer number of deaths each year caused by various pathogens that several species of mosquitoes, of more than 3,000 in the world, carry to humans. The irritating insects, primarily those of the genera Aedes, Anopheles, and Culex, are the primary vectors of diseases like malaria, chikungunya, encephalitis, elephantiasis, yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile virus, and the Zika virus. Number one, humans. Surprise? Well, after all, we're animals too. And since we've been killing each other for 10,000 years, with the total deaths from war alone estimated at between 150 million and 1 billion, and that was a decade ago, it's a no-brainer that we're the top of the list. We assault each other with incredibly high rates of senseless brutality, from gun violence to terrorist attacks around the globe. We're dangerous to other animals, too. Think global warming, the destruction of forests and coral reefs, and over-tourism for starters. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you feel like you received some real value and insight from this content, please take a moment to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons so as not to miss any of our new video releases.